we are very very strategic in terms of our approach not just to the disintegration of the damnable zoological republic but its disembowelment i did promise you many years ago that by the time we are done with nigeria the name nigeria will no longer exist that is where we are heading to and for us to be able to accomplish that we need to recreate the scenario of yemen the scenario of syria the scenario of somalia in the northern part of the damnable zoological republic and there is only one way we are going to achieve that esm will give it to us how because in their eternal foolishness and stupidity it is called hubris the janjaweed army will come to the south to engage us they will they will come it is not a question of if but when but this time around we are waiting for them in our bushes and in our forests we are not going to fight this war in our townships we are going to fight it inside our bushes and in our forests they will come there and we are going to kill them all of them and as they are coming into our bushes and in our forests they will leave their backside open terrorists from all across the sahel will flood into arewa lands and occupy it god will destroy them i just want all of you to watch and see what is going to happen to the zoo what they call banditry and insurgency is only the beginning just an appetizer the real dish is coming the main course is coming at the end of this process all of you will worship god the way that nobody ever did in the world before the afra is coming not through the efforts of any mortal but through the grace of god and god only and not man god will not share his glory with any mortal by the time that biafra gets here to us we will all be very thankful that out of the billions upon billions of the people that occupy this very earth chupokikabia machos biafra to showcase his mighty works you must remember this always the fight we are engaged in is not of a carnal nature it is very very spiritual then that time they will bring what is left of their army we know how many soldiers they have in the zoo and we know that we have more men under arms than them in the zoo we know why we lost the war we are not going to lose this very war. I'm telling you, this. before God and man, we can't lose it. Heaven is my witness; we can never lose it. They are going to die in our land. They are going to die in their land, and their homes will be taken over by the monster that they bred. There is something some of you do not understand in the zoo. Sometimes when I go through Zoom, I, I, in fact, I say to myself, God, in my next life, I can never come to Africa. I don't want to mix with idiots who can know reason very well. Let me tell you what is going to happen in the north for some of you who do not know it has started happening already do you know that um uh, the mother of um, buratai died buratai could not go to his house he's the army general commanding all the armies of the zoo he couldn't go for his mother's burial are you aware of that in Bron, he couldn't go why do you think so do you know that isa funtua died he was not buried in his village he was buried in abuja are you aware that Abak Yari died? Abak Yari was not buried in his hometown in one of the Bruno villages. He was buried, so they claim in Abuja. Do you know that uh, Samunda is dead? Do you know that everybody who has risen up to take over, do you know that the entire Fulani cabal that I was telling you about before that they're all dead? Are you aware of that? Buhari is dead. Abak Yari is dead. Isa Funtua is dead. Samanda is dead. Are you aware of that, all of you? Are you aware of that? No, you don't know. This war is being waged in the spiritual realm for some of you who don't understand. The reason why they have not announced the death of Mama and Daura is because they said if they announce it now, I will look for the next person to curse. 
Go and ask them in Abuja, that's what they're saying. Anybody who rises up to become the head of the cabal, you will die. You have an eternal curse placed on you. And Maman Dara is dead, of course he's dead. The entire cabal is dead, if you don't know, let me tell you. I'm telling you the truth. But this year, they can't escape it. Something is going to happen to the zoo that any ear that hears it will vibrate forever and ever. God will destroy Nigeria. Completely and totally. I want to let Britain understand this. I want them to do all they can to save their zoo that they created for the habitation of idiots who cannot reason in Africa. Especially Nigerians. I need them to understand this very carefully. Do all you can to save your zoo. You cannot save it. Watch and see what is going to happen. The Jangaweed are coming from all over the Sahel with their camel bringing in every manner of sophisticated weaponry. Not to come and fight to be our friends, of course not. But to come and finish all these vultures. They are in a very serious mess, I assure you. I gave them three examples. Yemen, Somalia, and Syria. That is what is going to obtain in the northern part of the zoo. They can't escape it. Uh, an effort on the so, part of Kofi Annan, but a very important one because if it can succeed and be done without further violence, that's obviously much preferable than a wider regional war. So if uh, Assad and his regime don't back down, what I hear you saying as a final last resort, the United States and potentially its NATO allies would, re would, would use the military option to stop the slaughter. Well, I don't think that's what I said. <laughs> what I said is the next step would be for there to be an effort to put maximum international pressure on Assad, including through the Security Council, uh, where we have been clear that we are prepared to, to see at the appropriate time an effort to impose uh, Security Council enforcement action, including uh, sanctions and potentially other steps. What I said was, should all of that fail or not be possible because uh, it perhaps would be vetoed again, then we're into a situation uh, which is chaotic and in which uh, you know the the, the sides are, uh, are are going to continue to be supported by outsiders I'm not going to predict Wolf what uh, actions we would take in that context our aim has been to avoid that worst case scenario uh, because clearly it is in our interest and in the interest of the region for the conflict in Syria not to escalate not to spiral into a wider regional conflict uh, engulfing uh, our Amen. Somalia and Syria, that is what is going to obtain in the northern part of the zoo. They can't escape it.